Hey, I'm Pete Scanlonbury, SEC Country Recruiting Editor. Today I'm here with Jeff Centel of Dog Nation and Chris Kirshner of SEC Country Alabama to talk about one of the most dominant players in the nation, five-star defensive end Nolan Smith out of IMG Academy in Florida. Uh, he's a Georgia commit right now, but there's still a little intrigue in his recruitment. Jeff, what's the latest on Nolan Smith with Georgia? Well, I think Nolan talks a really good game. Like he's, He might even be a better ambassador of his brand than he is a player, and that's kind of way up there since he's the nation's number five player. I think he just leaves the door open just enough. But when you talk to him, you hear him, Georgia this, Georgia that, we are. Uh, he does say great things about Tosh LaPoy in Alabama. He does say things about Clemson. He still wants to play in a 3-4 uh, defense first and foremost, but you're really talking about a special guy that can play anywhere. And Chris, I know he talked uh, very highly of Alabama after that visit a few weeks ago. What's the latest with Alabama and Nolan? Yeah, uh, Nolan visited um, Tuscaloosa back in uh, February. He's been to Tuscaloosa several times now. But as Jeff said, it's going to be tough um, for any school to really change his mind. I do agree that sometimes Nolan, um, I guess, likes to play the game a little bit, like some of these recruits do keep a little intrigue um, in their recruitment but I think the the one notable quote that um, sticks with me about Nolan in Alabama um, he classified Georgia as like his family's home but he said when he um, goes to Alabama it's like his uncle's house your, your family's still there but it's just not your parents and the parents would be Georgia in this case I mean he definitely loves Alabama very close with outside linebackers coach and defensive coordinator Tosh Lupoy um, he also said that um, Lupoy's um, um, promotion to defensive coordinator definitely helps Alabama's chances. If uh, if um, Nolan did have a number two school, I think Alabama would be that option. But I, I do think Georgia is the, the place he's going to end up at. And I also think they're, um, I would say the commitment was shaky about six to eight months ago. I think maybe even the, this time a year ago because there was all those and all those associations with Clemson and Xavier Thomas. And then he heard a lot of good things from Kirby Smart and Georgia and that staff, but he needed to see proof in the pudding. I think what Georgia did with the season last year, elevating its game up to maybe Alabama's station in college football right now, plus bringing in that great 2018 recruiting class. And, and, and then you come back to this, Nolan is being recruited by Georgia still as heavily as anyone else. He says he rolls over in the morning, some mornings, and he gets a text from Del McGee, a text from Glenn Schumann, and a text from uh, new linebackers coach Dan Lanning. And he says sometimes Georgia's texting him before his girlfriend texts him in the morning to say hello. That's some, uh, that's some black belt level recruiting right now. And with Georgia doing all those things, I don't see how any school closes that gap. Gotcha. Well, you heard it here. That's the latest on Nolan Smith's recruitment with Georgia. Uh, for the latest news on Nolan Smith and other Dog Nation SEC Country targets, tune into sccountry.com, dognation.com.